eyes. Growing up, boys didn't like me. Kids made fun of me. I was raised to think that I was a plain girl, easily overlooked. I'd look in my eyes, the same eyes my dad thought made me. Always looked sad and wanted to think that the song, Brown Eyed Girl, could have been about me. How silly of me. I should know better. And maybe that is why I've always loved blue eyes. Eyes not like mine. The eye is a fascinating thing. It's beautiful to study, especially yours. If I were a biologist, I'd take high-res photos of that eye of yours. Maybe magnify it as large as I could so I could study it like a slide under a microscope. I would search for meaning in those mesmerizing patches and shades of that unique blue. They say science can explain all, so maybe it can explain why I'm so in love with your eyes or why I'm so in love with you. Eyes are our windows to the outside world, but they are always portals inward, giving us mere mortals fleeting glimpses of who you are inside. I think our colored irises floating on an ocean of white punctuated with a pupa were designed that way so we could follow each other's gazes closely. I'm watching you. You probably see that. I hope you are watching me too. Because scientists have studied the crypts, pigment dots and furrows of the eye and scientists are now figuring out that the eye really is the window to the soul. So maybe I was on the right track. By loving your eyes and never wanting to lose sight of them again. On witnessing the icy graveyard. Slowly coasting on the icy road no more than 18 to 20 miles per hour. Car after car, semi after semi, dead on the snowy median. We stared at the auto graveyard. Thank you so much for listening.